Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you quick this little farm theme that I put together playing with Noah today. I had a really fun time doing it and it just happened really naturally. I was just, um, I thought to myself, I'm just going to have like absolute focus time with him right now and not try and do house chores at the same time, not be running around, not look at my phone, just be like totally hang out with him. And so I started to pull things out of his toy bin and um, I put this together naturally and it was just, it was fun. And so I just wanted to document it and share it at the same time. So this John Deere tractor, he was given for his birthday. So I was explaining to him that we use the tractor and then I pointed out that this also is a tractor. Um, the tractors are usually parked in the barn and we use the tractor to feed hay to the horses, the bulls, the cows. Um, so these, um, these little cards here are, one sec. Uh, I got this from Costco. So it's first steps learning library from, um, the learning journey is the company. So there's farm, there's like farm theme and then animal theme and then a food theme which I'm excited about the food theme for nutrition stuff. But um, so then I use these cards, like any cards that were relevant to the whole like story that I was putting together, I pulled out. So a cow, a horse, and then I have these blocks. I got a, a bunch of these used blocks from Once Upon a Child in Grand Prairie. And so then I use these as well. It's like anything relatable in all of his toys in his room, I pulled out. Oh, he's up from his nap. Okay, I'll be fast here. Um, then here's some cows on these blocks. And then this was, uh, this is a steak that came in um, for his birthday. He got this set of wooden nutrition uh, food blocks. I guess wooden nutrition food blocks. Yes, like for an example, here's more of them. Here's like a wooden tomato and a wooden onion. So Anyways, I'll just, I'll quickly finish this up here. So out of these cards, there's a rooster. Um, so I pointed out, we go see the rooster every day when we go do the chickens, um, a sheep, a goat, a pig, which these three we don't have on our farm, but they are, would be a part of the farm, like common on farms. And then I also referenced this book with him. And um, so it's, who says moo? And then he opened it up, a cow. And then I was doing the sounds. So then I flipped through and we did the sounds together too of the sounds that the animal makes. Um, I also tried to show him a YouTube video of sounds on a farm as well, but he wouldn't stop going after the computer and trying to grab it and stuff. So it didn't really work, but I did try and do like the visual, um, the audio, him being able to feel different things, but it was really fun. I felt like I like put a lesson together naturally and I didn't even mean to. So then uh, th these are some more of the blocks. So then there was dogs and cats. We don't have a dog, but we do have cats, but farm dogs are so common and I do want one. So that can be a part of our farm story. And then a bee, he got given this when he was first born. And I mean, bees are part of the farm for sure. Um, and then we would see snails. I never actually see snails here. Um, but I just felt like it's part of outside and they could very well, they're, I mean, they're around butterflies, ducks. Sometimes we have ducks in our, in our uh, dugout. And then I did the carrot blocks. I did put these in here because we're growing a garden and we're growing carrots. So I have carrots. And then this was given to me or given to Noah, uh, by my very good friend. And, um, so I thought there's another thing that he can like touch and feel and like just like the connection. This is a carrot. This is a carrot. Um, you get it. Um, and then, so I have an onion and a tomato. So I'm growing both of those as well. So I use those. And then a fox, which we rarely ever see. But I thought um, it's common. Or it, it could be on a farm. So that's everything. I was excited to put this together. I felt like it was my first time really like putting together I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I had a fun time playing with Noah's toys and I naturally created this farm theme and this storytelling theme. Um, okay. And then I just wanted to say one other thing that with these, um, the First Steps Learning Library, I'm going to now do the same thing with nutrition. So grab 
I'm gonna grab some of these nutrition puzzle blocks and then anything in his room that he has that's like food related, I'm gonna use those to do teaching points as well. Um, I know he's still young yet as well. I'm not like hardcore teaching or anything. I just um, thought it'd be good to like start to introduce these things. So when it does come to actual teaching, um, I've already introduced them. So anyhow, I just wanted to share with you guys my farm theme. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments section what you do when you play with your baby or toddler or child, what you do for fun with them. I would love to hear it. Uh, love to hear some different ideas. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.